If an elephant's trunk is just a nose, why is it useful for so many things? Look! See how they drink water with their trunks, pick fruit from trees, and even hug each other affectionately. Inside the trunk, there are two nostrils for smelling and over 40,000 muscles. So how can this trunk be gentle enough to pick up a tiny pin and strong enough to reveal a tree out of the ground? We can compare an elephant's trunk to a multi-purpose robotic arm made by humans. So can we think that this robotic arm came into being by itself, by chance? Of course not, an engineer designed it. So how can we say that the elephant's trunk, which is much more amazing than a robotic arm, came into being by chance? Can a blind and unconscious nature plan and design such an intelligent organ? The trunk doesn't work all by itself. It works in perfect harmony with the brain, muscles, and other body parts. For the trunk to drink water, the one who made the water must be the same one who made the trunk. This perfect design shows us the attribute of the shaper, the one who gives the most beautiful shape to everything. This endless knowledge and power belongs to Allah, the only owner of all the worlds. This artistry in the elephant's trunk is just one example of the beauty in Allah's creation. We should remember this blessing, consider its value, and be grateful to its owner. This wonderful knowledge fills our hearts with admiration and compassion for His artistry. Just as an elephant protects its young with its trunk with compassion, we too should be merciful towards others. These wonderful creatures and the world they live in are entrusted to us. It is our duty to protect them. The compassion we show even to the smallest animal is an expression of the respect we feel for the greatest work of art.